and this is long. And the next one coming out to it, if this is representing a tile or a space, there's going to be one, two, three before that space is ever activated again. It's always in thirds. So they're, they're just not shooting out randomly. It's really, I'm so privileged to be understanding, to be able to mentally think of this. Because when I was just a little kid, I, would, I, I saw the books they wrote at this, the most advanced professor in the world, Eddington. And I, he was a wonderful guy. But it was, it, was as, it was the same as your children telling you a story at night before you go. It was like, uh, it was like um, Alvin and Clive's and what is it? Some Dewey hamster. And he always gets his head chewed <laughs> off at the end. It was a hamster story. Everything's a hamster story. So I, I really feel blessed to be able to get out of the hamster story and learn about how this energy sprays out. It's like a fountain. It's the fountain of life. Okay? So, the X acts, now it turns out what I'm doing is I'm doing an X coordinate system and it's going to be all your family number groups of one and it's going to be all your family number groups of uh, four on the Y. I better circle my number because it's becoming messy. And my, this one right here is going to be my family number groups of seven. See the same sloppy seven. Four is part of the one group. Huh? No, nah, because they occupy different points. It is the, it's so the that's same, they're the four. same family number group, right. but we're not talking about family number groups right. right now. I'm showing you how the spatial orientation, how this point is so significant from this. These are all the planes of architecture. So one, one, so one and eight, you're going to say you're equivalent now in this system, or what? Oh, we're getting there. Okay. It's pretty tricky. We're, we're I might say that the most brilliant seismic engineer and architect in Mexico looked at this, and he just knew what it was immediately. I wish I was as smart as him. It took me years. He said it was all the planes of spatial orientation. Okay, and you're doing it fast because you're, you've already jumped to the eight. Where is the one and eight? Here, I superimpose a double coordinate system. This is your eight. This is now your five. Remember, four and fives are opposites. And this is actually, it's not going, it's going to reverse. This is your two. Okay? And everything about them is opposite and reverses. This one, okay. You're about to see how it works. Yeah, it's eight, right. What about eight? Did you There's your eight and one. One, seven, and whatever. Here's your four and five. I know it's getting a little difficult, everybody. It'll be easier in a minute. Oh, okay. They're complements. Okay. okay, the complements are opposite. And I put two coordinate systems together to make a stereograph. See how we have red and blue here? So I'm about, now remember, if you have stereo, you've got dimension and feel and displacement and surround sound. And, okay? Yes? Charlie, you ready? Yeah. Well, we're going to yeah. tap it anyway. Eight and one is going to be your x-axis. Four and five is your y-axis. And seven and two is your z-axis. You reverse the color. So. Um, I'm not doing family number groups. I'm doing, I didn't reverse yeah, anything. Put it, uh, I'm showing one, one and eight. It's like altitude now. Yeah, but you've it's made more complicated you've now. Made it's a good to try, but it's more complicated. Now. It explains why altitude exists, though. Huh? Two is, two is still up to seven, but it's a different color now. That's right, because you'll get it pretty quick. Okay, we're going to lose this one. If you need to well, see so it... You reverse the colors. There you go. Of course, they're not colorized. But he, are you oh, thinking well. that the colors of the uh, graph that he's now writing is supposed to be the same colors as what he's written up there? That's what I'm... Oh, see. Are you doing that on purpose, or does that just happen to be the colors that you picked? You, you reversed all with? the colors, right? Yeah. That's what's confusing him. You've got, you've got blue with one. See what you've done? And seven is blue, and four is Eight plus one is nine. Seven plus two is nine. Four plus five is nine. So I can see, see how the that. See X and Y are written in blue? That's what's confusing him. This you've taken seven one, one four. One seven four, you've taken what was pink, and you've made that family into... Blue. What matters right now <laughs> is that yeah, I just okay, used so the same didn't color. Care arbitrarily. Okay, you didn't care about I, I, that. There is nothing arbitrary in the universe, but yes, you are correct. Okay. <laughs> so I follow you now. And I've never erased in a class before until now. <laughs> but here we go. Thank you.
Okay. I appreciate meticulousness. So this is a one. This is a seven. Four. Thanks. The moon is void, of course. Well, so you have a good actually, here excuse. I did it wrong again. One, seven, huh? four. Because it should be all red. Make them happy. One, seven, four, and that should be. Oh. And I'll put two, eight, five in the blue, so it matches the chart. And I hope, and I will probably never let this happen again. It's a mistake. Okay, eight. What is it? Two and five. Thank. So he's right. You got it? One, seven, four, yeah. This stuff's a poison. You gotta be careful. And those axes it. correspond to the different vertical levels on the. Not vertical levels. The well, horizontally lining up, the disketting, is because there's an energy. We'll come back to that. I'm saying that this is showing XYZ. This is totally different. Now. Right. But you've taken that from the fact that they're complements of each other. And the that they're on, different. On the, on the corresponding corners mirrored, though. Yes. Okay. We're comfortable with that? Okay, so let's, so Judy, I need your help, please, to remove this one. And this one will not be too easy to take down because we put it on a little bit stronger. What I'm about to show you, I'll tell you real quick, is we're going to show you this coordinate system, stereographic, everything overlapping. We're going to show you the skin of the toroid. We're going to show you how this all works now. And it's, it's not going to be too easy. was just to prepare you for this. Okay. Oops. But I had promised you to go into vortexes, which are more fun. Uh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Our hero. <laughs> the white knight, the vortex. All right. So, are you missing one person? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We have the vortex. Are you ready? Okay. A vortex is compressing and it's decompressing. Okay, this is it going in at the top, coming out at the bottom. Remember the goal, the emanations. This is what everyone else lost and forget. Every physicist, every scientist, every mathematician didn't remember that right there. Okay, there's something driving this thing, and it's coming out of the center. It's a higher dimensional energy. The universe can be quantified in whole numbers. The number nine is the spindle around which everything revolves diagonally in logarithmic spirals. So there's the number nine shooting out in multiples of seven. A tornado is more powerful than a nuclear bomb. What devastated Kauai but a tornado, <coughs> okay, which is a vortex? Now the reason I did this is, is that a tornado is based on the word toroid, okay? And our body is called a torso, and that's what we're modeling as a toroid. This is called a toroid coil, okay? And this is called toroidal pinch, where it gets very small in the center, center is a toroid. Now the universe, they say, well, they say a black hole disappears into nothing, but a black hole turns into a white hole. It decompresses out. Okay? Here's the Earth's magnetosphere in a toroid. Okay? These are all based on a vortex. Okay? Now, this is called a funnel. Are you having fun? And there's the dandelion puff, puff principle. How the universe reprocesses itself, because I'm saying it's an ecological system. It comes out the nozzle, the jet, which is right through here. Nature's hourglass. And decompresses, okay, and these are toroidal field coils, and decompresses and purifies it, and it comes out again, all over again, to continue the process. Okay. Uh, time ratches is four. These are just other things I put. Okay, so let's look at a toroid. Um, I'm going to ask you to be our new assistant. Yes. Would you please 
spin that and make that into a vortex. Do you have to stand up here? Spin it? No. You know how to do it? No, he'll do it. No. There you go. Okay, get it going faster, 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 faster. Okay. Okay, and stop. You just start, move your hand, hold it only in the center. There you go. There is your tornado, there is your vortex. It's compressing, going through the singularity where the energy shoots out from, and going out the white hole, and it'll come back and go again in a closed loop cycle that's ecological. And that's how the coil is made. But it's not made like this, it's made almost straight lines around the invisible nine that it's spinning around the vortex. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it real fast. You should just throw water before you drink it. Yeah, no, a lot of people sell machines that do that. <coughs> so there's... They do that. In fact, they make a machine that costs $40,000. They say it puts back the life energy into the water. You just gotta shake it up. Hmm? You just gotta shake it up, though. Mm -hmm. My friend Ray spins every morning. He does those Fountain of Youth exercises, and the first one is spinning more than 21 times. Yeah, a lot of mystics, like dervishes, that go into, um, um, what would be the state? Mystical states? Uh, uh, by the spinning and stuff like that, they go to into ecstatic states. Yeah. They go into ex ecstatic states, but they're not stuck. Um, it's just to align the chakras, apparently. Each exercise aligns um, one chakra. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tie in the four seats, all the chakras, the meridians, all the holistic medicine. It's all tied in again to what? Where's Brian when we need him? <laughs> Vortices. We mentioned Brian because he's a naturopath who was here an hour ago. Who's home we're in? Huh? Who's home we're in? Who's home we're in? Okay. Um, so, I'm explaining a vortex and how it works. Now, the vortex is driven by the emanations coming out the center. You can see it clearly in the pulsing of thirds. One, two, three. The thirds intersect in a harmonic, a timing. It's like music harmon har musical harmonics. And that's how I keep the le electricity from having friction and having random collisions. Charlie and Judy. <laughs> You guys are in deep states. I'm looking at your face. <laughs> I, I, I heard this. Oh, so you remember it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, if you discover any new things, I'd like to know. Well, I'm just seeing if I had to make one for it. I think you're about to discover some new things. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything gives you nothing. Okay. It's like nothing new. Everything is Here's your 396s in the center. So your 396s is always in the center. Remember I said we leave it alone? 396, 693. It flips. First it goes 396. And remember I said it flips? 693. Here's your 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5s going in. So this is one winding. Here's the other winding going out. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Oh. And then there's the space in between you were talking about. And if you put these both together, okay, you get this guy which is the skin of the toroid, because here you have doubling down, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Here you have doubling up, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. There's your 3, 9, 6, 6, oh, 9, 3. Okay. This good. and those two ingredients, those two ingredients make this. In fact, everything you're seeing is all one and the same. The numbers never move. I'm just giving you zoom views, cross-section views. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you is outer surface picture? views. I just doubling. Doubling. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, picture television oh, screen. There's 525 oh, lines, right? Mm -hmm. What's that? 5 to 5, that's called, that adds to 12, that makes 3, right? 525 lines go down, and then it zooms up in a blank di uh, diagonal line, and then it comes back down again to fill in the other ones that it did. The, that, there's a blank line in there, 
Why is that blank line in there? Oh, well, that's a good Why point. Why a blank line? Every time you're seeing, every second, there's a blank line in there. Yeah, that is a good point. That's where they put all the, the sub uh, sub stuff that they sent me. You know? That's what they put all that. The sub carrier? Yeah, and that's also where they put the, um, the TTY.